to add sound to our project, um, we're going to need to add a buzzer. So I'm going to close the coding window here. And uh, if you don't have this open already, you can just click right here to open the components drawer. And I'm going to type buzzer. And you're not going to see something that says buzzer. You'll see something that says piezo. That'll work. Um, for the most part, the uh, the way you hook up a buzzer and a piezo are the same, and the code that you'd write for them are the same. Uh, I'm going to rotate it so that it's sideways here, and then I'm going to move it right about here is good. It kind of works out well if you make the lead for the buzzer go straight through that red LED just as far as when you hook up your blue and yellow LEDs. Uh, you don't have a bunch of wires crossing right in front and behind each other. So now uh, I'm going to connect the positive lead for the buzzer to pin 5 and I'm going to make it purple just because nothing else is purple. Uh, now it's so then it's easy to kind of tell well which which thing is connected to the buzzer. Oh that's the purple wire which is connected to pin 5. I'll connect the negative lead to ground and I'll make that color black and I will now start writing some code to control that buzzer. So I'm going to click on the code button and we're going to need to define a variable for the buzzer. You don't have to, but it certainly makes it a lot easier to modify things down the road if you decide to change the way your circuit works somehow. So I'm going to say byte and then buzzer and I'm going to say that is equal to 5. It's connected to pin 5. To uh, set the pin mode for the buzzer, I'm just going to go right down here and say pin mode buzzer and I'm going to set that to output. then modify the creation of these objects right here so that we have um, some more information that is being passed to them. Uh, specifically the frequency at which that buzzer needs to vibrate or, uh, in order to make certain sounds. So I want to have the frequency for the red be 1100 and 36 and then I want the frequency for the green to be 568. So now that we have a second piece of information that we're sending uh, that we're using to create the, the red and green color objects, well we need to create another variable, a second variable. So the second variable I'm going to put right up here and here it's going to have to be an int, not a byte, because these numbers are so big. A byte can only be a number that uh, ranges from 0 to 256. An int is going to be a number that's bigger. So I'm going to type int and then frequency. Semicolon. And then I need to modify the blink function just with one command and that command is going to be tone so this this command generate causes the buzzer to generate a tone but we have to tell it what pin the buzzer is connected to so we just say well it's the buzzer pin and then we also have to tell it what frequency we want it to generate well it's whatever frequency we uh, have passed to it. So it's whatever this is right up here. And then we have to tell how long we want that tone to continue to play, how long we want it to last. So um, I just want it to last the same amount of time that the LED is on. So I'm going to make it 500 because that's the same number that we have here and here. If you were to change these, um, the, the, the amount of time that the LED was going to stay on, then you might want to change this number two. I'm going to go ahead and start the simulation now and see if this tone is played when these LEDs blink. 
Remember, in the loop, we're already telling the red and the green LEDs to blink and then delay for a second. So we should hear a two tones, a space for a second, and then two tones, and that should just repeat over and over. And there you can see the red and the green LED lighting up and playing tones at the same time. At this point, you should make a commit to Bitbucket that says something to the effect of added sound for the red and green LEDs. Once you've made your commit, I want you to add code that adds this functionality for the blue and yellow LEDs as well. For the blue LED, I want you to use a frequency of 851, and for the yellow LED, I want you to use a frequency of 638. Once you've added that functionality and tested it to make sure it works, go ahead and make another commit that says something to the effect of added sound to all LEDs or to all colors.